Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to get our hands into all of the new makeup. I have palette after palette after palette after palette. I feel like this is gonna be one of those days where the eyeshadow just does not stop because I really want to use it all. I'm having a hard time deciding. This empowered one from Huda Beauty just looks like I want to cry, it is so beautiful. So if you saw James and I do an unboxing, which if you did not see that, go watch it, link will be below. James is side by side with me. Once again, it feels super reminiscent when we do an unboxing and we actually had so much stuff to unbox, it was unreal. So we are gonna be doing a full face of makeup full face fall makeup. I am excited. It is a cozy time of year. We are also going to get the skin right. We're gonna plump the skin right up. We are gonna get it looking so gorgeous, good, glossy, hydrated, balanced. We're gonna take five minutes. You're gonna see a dramatic before and after because you guys, I have a new tool from Medicube that literally will knock your socks off. I don't know how they did this. I feel like every time I use this product, it's like I have just left the spa. It is a massage in a wand in five minutes that will tingle your entire being. I mean, I feel like my soul is even replenished when I use this device. And this is the Booster H. I know I've talked very favorably about Medicube products in the past. I've partnered with them more than I think any other company. And I very, very rarely do that. It has to be something so special that I think is worth it to you guys. So this guy right here, this is a part of my prep. If I want my foundation, to look seamless, beautiful, smooth, not cakey. I take five minutes and I see a night and day difference. This is an approved device for safe daily use by six global certification organizations, the KCC, EFCC, PSE, and RCM. So this is a clinically backed product. You can use this safely at home. You don't have to feel like, oh my gosh, um, like is this some item that maybe a professional should be using and like, yikes, I shouldn't be using at home. No, this is easy to use. You really can't screw this up. This one right here, you can even go close to the eye, which I love so much. But the other added benefit that I love about this is you're gonna use a moisturizer, you know, go through your skincare routine in the morning. You use this device. It signals to you when each minute has passed, you're gonna use maybe two minutes here on this side, two minutes on this side. And then I like to divide the minute between my forehead and my chin. And all of your moisturizer is no longer sitting on the surface of the skin. It is like in the skin deeply. The permeability absorption increase is 490%. That's the one call out that I'm like, that is a lot, like after one use, after one use. And that is studied. So what I notice is a lot of these fine lines that I am no longer filling, or Botoxing, a product like this really helps your moisturizer to work so much harder that those lines do feel massively softened. The skin is glowing, it is smooth, it is perfectly prepped for foundation, and I cannot say enough. So we're gonna scooch in and I am gonna show you this product in action. Ugh. One. We are gonna be using the Triple Deep Erasing Cream. This is for all skin types. And I should mention that this device also is for every skin type. It's just gonna make your products work harder and smarter and give you that immediate, I just got a facial kind of a look to your face. All right, let's get to it. We're gonna see some dramatic before and after because you guys know I've had a stressful week uh, with Puka. Puka is doing better, but honestly, last night, like, I, should I share this? Last night I was crying because I just hate seeing his little tongue hanging out of his face and everything. And so there was a lot of like, uh, uh, you know, like I am not a cute crier, I'm very expressive. And <laughs> the timing of this is just incredible, you know, but we've all been there and whenever I feel like I wake up and I'm a little bit like, oh my gosh, like life, there's so much going on. Like my skin kind of shows it, and especially if I've cried a little bit. So using this device, I'm telling you in five minutes, I'm gonna be a brand new woman. I am going to be revived. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Level one, level two, level three, level four, 
level five. We're going for the max because I've been using this for a month and I can handle it. Start at your own pace, start slow, see how you feel and then go from there. Now I like to do this motion like this, the boosting motion. They call this circular motions a watering motion, which I guess you can use with really hydrating products. I just have the cream on and I find that I like doing this kind of scooping, swooping type of a motion. You can also, if you have like a stubborn area where you want more hydration, you can just, feels good. You can just leave it just like this. It feels nice. Skin glossiness improved by 57.4%. Skin texture improvement of 6.8%. The inner hydration in their clinical study in one use improved by 4.5%. That's inner hydration. That is impressive. Outer hydration had an improvement of 16.5%, you guys. So the immediate result that you get from this measurably is so good. You can't do that with your fingertips alone. You just cannot. I do get a little bit close up to the eye. You'll feel that if you're on the higher level. I don't pull so much up here. I kind of just pat. So two minutes have passed and now I'm gonna go two minutes on the other side. It is legitimately this easy. Four minutes passed. At the four minute mark, that's where I go to the chin a little bit. You can use this on the neck. And then I really like to focus it in here. I've got those 11s and kind of do a sweeping upward motion. It's like a little brain tickle. <laughs> Feels so nice. Okay, Woo. all right. Yes, we are done. Woo. The skin is prepped. Let's hear it for juiced up hydrated skin. I am ready to get into makeup and I know it's gonna go on so smooth. I wanna share with you, you can go on their site, use the code TATI40 to save 40% off. That will be a limited time where you can use that code. So check it out. Details will be in the description box below. We're about to get into the makeup, but I wanna go over a few of the key differences between the Booster H right here and the Airshot right here. They do look similar, but they do massively different things. Again, I use the Booster Booster H, which I just showed you in action in the morning before makeup. And then this guy right here, the air shot is more like your micro needling. If we go through the clinical tests with the air shot, I want to point out just with one use, you're going to get incredible results with this one as well. The effects of the air shot with just one use proved skin absorption increased 432%. So both of these are going to help product to absorb better. With the air shot, there was a 39.3% pore improvement, skin texture improvement of 6.8%, dead skin cell improvement, 69.5%, skin glossiness improvement, 24.9%, skin inner hydration improvement, 5.9%. So when you pair the two of these up and you are consistent in use, you're gonna see a dramatic improvement in your skin. I love that they do clinical studies. I love that this is a backed by science product, that it's safe for use at home, and that it really just kind of eradicates that need to go to the medical spa and can help you to get results really, really quickly. So there we have it, Tati 40 for 40% off at checkout. And now let's get into the makeup. We're gonna start with this iconic, super smoother blur skin tint. I have three of these here. We have natural light, warm light, and cool light. I think I'm going to go for the natural light is what is calling my name. I don't know. I'm going to put it on with a brush. I also got these BK brushes in PR as well. So this is a blur. This is interesting. This is a blurring primer, but it does have like a little bit of pigment to it. To be honest, I don't know if I needed that. I don't know that it did much, but mm, maybe, I don't know. 
I don't know, I like the bottle. It reminds me of the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua, which used to be one of my very favorite foundations of all time. Kind of really want to go buy that for some reason. Do you guys still use that? Does anyone still use that? I'm gonna go in with this Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation mattifying. We'll see how this goes now that my skin is like so juiced. My skin is hydration station right now. I really remember loving this one and it's just a beloved foundation. So many people have such a good time with this one that I wanna try it again. Let's hope this is the correct shade. That's pretty good. Um, I'm sorry, hello coverage. Do we, are we witnessing this right now? Are we witnessing this? Everything just erased. It all erased. Oh my. Yeah, ooh, this is so nice. It feels like nothing on my skin. It feels literally so lightweight. It's not like a dry matte. It's like a nice, do you see like there's still luminosity there? That could be from the Booster H because it is a glow booster thing, but yeah, the skin is still glowing. I like it. I'm trying to calm down on my contouring obsession too. I kind of went back, well, I really went back into it where I was just like, contour everything. Ah. And then I was recently looking at some videos and I'm like, ooh, you got some, some really big nose contour going on there. Contour, <laughs> you got some nose contour going on. That's like kind of insane. Like stop, you know? Most days recently I will do, my skincare is like priority numero uno. And then I'll do a little bit of foundation, a little bit of concealer. I'll do some cream products on top. I always do my brows. I feel like I don't have enough to not do them. So I usually do my brows and just like a little bit of mascara and then maybe some cute balm. And that's, that's it. If I'm doing fast, quick, wannabe pulled together kind of a makeup, which is more like what you guys saw in my outro of my, um, vlog footage, like the, just that clean kind of a look I really, really love. So that's kind of been my go-to lately. Ooh, this is from Kosas. This is the shade 05W. I really, really like their concealers. They just sent me some new. Let's go into powder from Patrick Ta just to set that um, concealer. We're gonna go with light three. Okay, how on the earth do you do shoulders? Which I did shoulders today. So literally you guys, like everything was just like, I'm not wearing deodorant, let's just. So I was like doing this, like look how my arms are getting kind of strong, right? I cannot for the life of me, I go into this like meditative place where I'm like, okay, just relax your neck. And even though I am like verbally in my inner monologue going like, relax your neck, it's fine. Like I still go, and like strain my neck. And so for then like the next 24 hours, I feel like my neck is like, like so tight. Tell me people out there that are serious about weight training, does that ever go away? And what should I do to like help loosen this up? Because I want my shoulders to improve, right? Like I want those, those gains. She's eating her protein, she's wanting those gains. But man, I strain my neck. And then I can see it and that's not a result that I want. And also this is scary. Do you wanna talk like scary for a second? Maybe. I got Botox in my neck one time and I kid you, I started like freaking out like I couldn't swallow properly. And I'm like, this is dangerous. And even though everyone that I consulted professionally, they're like, no, we don't go that deep. It will never paralyze the muscle in that way. Like this just doesn't happen. And I always went to like best of the best and I was safe and fine and like it did, mentally kind of fix itself. Like I kind of got over it, but I remember like just feeling like, oh my gosh, is this worth it? Because like, I'm kind of panicking. Like I, I don't have full function of these muscles. And I think these muscles are really important to have full function of. So I don't know, I'm legit just gonna be this woman like for the rest of my life. Okay, so now we're gonna go in to a smidge smidge of this new bronzer that I picked up at Sephora. This was not in PR, but I didn't get a bronzer in PR and she needs it. I need some kind of contour bronzy situation. I'm actually gonna use the Patrick Ta brush that I got in PR. And this one, you guys, I am enjoying. Okay, this is something you can put on top of even powder and just dab, 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 just like a little bit. Do we see that gave me just like a little bit of something, like a little bit of color without being like, you know, 
We've seen my recent videos, come on. Which can look great if you're doing like the full super, super glam and you do it right. But for the day to day, like this is so wearable, easy to blend in, good clean ingredients, love that. And it kind of takes the place of the under bronzer or contour cream and your powder. It's just kind of like an all in one. I just, I don't know. I feel like I can put this on blindly and it's just like, oh, yep, you're good. We are going into the land of Scott Barnes. Look at this right? I want a big hat and to just be glamorous like this. I don't know. Those earrings look really big. Okay. So we're going to go into Lolly for blush. I'm going to take this Varenti Beauty. This is a new brush. Oh my gosh. It says gla Glamour, Glamour Ama Beach. Is that a beach in Australia? I thought it said Grandma Beach. And I'm like, why is there a shade called Grandma Beach in here? That's weird. Glamorama Beach. Glamorama. Wow. Let's just, we need some tea after that. Okay, Glamorama Beach. I wanna go there. <laughs> we got some good blush. Wow, that is blushy. That is like, yo glow. That is, woo, you only live once glow. I'm in a weird mood, right? Oh my gosh, <laughs> okay. So tell me how you guys are doing. How's your day going? What are your favorite new products for fall? Leave it in the comments below. You know, I kind of want to stay in this palette and just like stay here. I, oh, I really want to use this palette. Maybe I will actually make a short trying these new palettes. This one from Clio also gorgeous. Look at the sparkles in there. Like, are you kidding me? Stop. This is pretty. This is like, I wanna play with you. Look at, this is a party right here of color. Oh my gosh. Natasha, I should just do, I'm, you know what? We're gonna save this. Oh my gosh, literally like birds sing. I'm gonna open this up. Oh my gosh, it's just like sun rays of beautiful, shiny, glorious shadow. I'm loving this. I'm gonna try it separately. We're gonna stick to Scott. We're gonna just play with this one right here because honestly, I'm feeling it. I am going to use a little primer potion from Urban Decay. I've not used one of these in a long time. Long, long time. Erica loves this. It's her favorite. I'm more of like a painterly paint pot girl, but I don't know. Sometimes when I film these videos, I'm like, why not? Let's just like do it. Let's dig in. All right, three, two, one. Byron Bay. Let's do this. Really beautiful. And like, you guys, I have not even blended much at all. Like I literally just went and it's just like, oh my. I like it. We're going into Bricky. The shadow is blending like insanely well. Uh, now I wanna go into Ayers Rock. Ew. I'm gonna take this 209 BK Beauty brush. I'm gonna mist it with some of this Catrice Ultra Last Fixing Spray. And off we go. These are beautiful fall colors. That was like 2.2. I'm gonna take this Clio Gel Presso pencil in brown. Okay, we are getting places. We are getting there. So now I'm gonna take this Varenti Beauty brow brush. Let's find like a good brown. Ooh, you know what? I kind of wanna go in the, the why do I keep calling it Huda? It's Huda, 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 Huda. Huda Beauty palette. And I kind of wanna go in the shade Gorgeous. Just like, just like a little tap tap. Oh my gosh, it looked, it's duochromatic. It's a dramatic duochromatic moment. I might have just messed everything up. No, I like it. She is smoky today. This is a smoky look for me. I'm gonna go into Sandstorm for brows and just like pray for the best. I don't know, let's see what we can come up with. Not sure that I love this brush. Liked it for blush, but you know what? I can't do this. The best brow brush 
of freaking, freaking all time. This is Bedillium Tools in 735. I like it. I think it looks great. Um, okay, so now I'm going to curl and I'm gonna use Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara. Real talk, serious talk. What is your favorite non-latex super glue-ish lash glue? House of Lashes has been my go-to, but recently I feel like I'm itching my eyes out when I use it. And it's really since my sty situation um, that my eyes are just like, they reject the makeup. They're like, no, I don't want this. And like, I just get too itchy and I don't wanna over itch my eye because I don't want that same issue to come back. So I'm trying to be more careful as we know with all of my clean out of all the clutter and all of that. Do you guys have like a favorite lash glue that is tough, you know, like super glue-esque, but, <laughs> but good clean ingredients, let me know. Stuff. All I want to do now is, do I want to highlight? I feel that like that blush had so much high shine in it that I kind of don't really need to highlight. You know what I'm saying? But I am going to go in just a teeny itty bitty bit. I always say that. And then I'm like, let me smear it all over my face. I'm going to go a teeny little bit in this J cat. You glow girl baked highlight. I just want to kind of go, oh, that is okay. We are, that is much more glowy than I thought. That's okay. It's okay. I like to glow. Some of you guys don't. You don't hold back about it, but that's fine. We all have our individual tastes and thank God for that. All right, so now what I wanna do is go in with a little lip. I have these beautiful little lippies from Crunchy. And you know what I love about these? They don't have disgusting ingredients that you're gonna be licking off of your mouth. I do appreciate finding a brand that is actually clean, not just marketed clean, but is like really abiding by, in my opinion, what that means. And this brand does, and they sent me a box filled with stuff. I will keep trying it and I will update you guys. These lippies are so nice. Who loves a good crayon? Can I ever do lipstick without talking? We will never know. I can't go. Is that not pretty? I just kind of went outside the lines. Shoot, gosh darn it. Teach me a lesson to not talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of a lighter one in the center. This is the shade French Mauve. I like it. And then we're gonna go in with a little Lawless to juice up the lips ever so slightly. Hopefully this calms down over here. Tip from me to you, wait until the area has calmed down because sometimes when you're like rubbing, part of the issue is that you've just rubbed your skin and you're being impatient. I'm super impatient where I'm like, oh no, now, now I have pigment outside of my mouth. And really it's just from the friction of you rubbing. So give it a minute and then go back in and try to address what needs to be addressed. Okay, I'm gonna finish off by spritzing with this Catrice Ultra Last Fixing Spray. This is a transfer proof, waterproof, no alcohol, no perfume. Oh my gosh, hallelujah. That sounds great to me, love that. Cause I love a fragrance free setting spray where I don't feel like I'm dying when I put it on, you know? The skin is looking good. You know what? We are juiced up even though this is a matte foundation, the skin just looks moisturized, hydrated, glowing. Mm. Love it. The makeup looks better than expected as I was just kind of all over the place, just like chatting with you guys and testing the new things, not knowing what exactly to expect. But I gotta say, I feel like there are so many game changing items within this try on. I'm loving my shadow. Scott Barnes always deserves a nice round of applause. Loving the lip, the crunchy lip, you guys. They are shockingly smooth and opaque. I love it. I love the way my foundation went on. 
Obviously still super loving the Patrick Ta powder foundation duo. Absolutely. Uh, like I'm looking in front of me and I'm just like, D -d 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 I'm like, did I not like anything? I think I want to try the primer again, but even that was really nice. So everything's said and done. I think this is a smash hit slam dunk try on. You guys, I want to leave you really quickly touching again on the Medicube items. Use the code TATI40 at checkout for 40% off through November 13th only. So act fast. If you wanna purchase one of these as a holiday gift item, I wanna show you what the box looks like. The presentation is just through and through really nice. They're good quality products. They provide an immediate result and a better result with ongoing use. And again, this is the new Booster H. This is the AirShot. I use them both because more is more and sometimes putting that extra step in your skincare routine especially gets you very, very far. And then when you're throwing your makeup on, you can be so quick about it and the quality of your skin, we all know a good skin day means so much to a great makeup day. So thank you to Medicube for partnering with me on this video. I'm in love with these so much. And one more time, Tati40 at checkout. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go have a great day, whatever you are doing. And I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.